Oh, that got me good. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I've got the freaking baby again, have I? Except he's oddly white and washed out. The hell's that about? Oh my god, that was a good jump scare. <laughs> I was like, his elevator's not working. What the hell? Are we back here where we need to be? Oh my god. This time this is the right room. It is. I think the baby is now a ghost. Okay. Achievement lock package delivery. Oh, Christ. Okay. Thank you. I've still got the water bottle. Do I need to deliver that to the guy who threw the water bottle at me? What uh, floor was he on again? It was in like four something. Can't remember. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. I have no idea what's going on here. He probably wants us to go up to floor five again at some point and go to that one door that was slightly ajar. But before I do that, I just want to check. Uh, check. That's all. Oh, bollocks. I forgot. It's blocked. Hang on, floor five. It was floor uh, four, wasn't it, with the guy who threw the water bottle at me? Could have sworn it was him. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, 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 I'm coming. I am a coming. Yeah, I just still seem to have this water bottle in my inventory, but not. Oh, this is fucking floor five. Again, I completely bloody forgot. I'm supposed to go downstairs. God, I'm getting distracting myself so much. Right, well, it looks like you couldn't go in there anyway. He's just going to, like, slam the door on you in a really spooky manner. Okay, sure, f fine, fine, fine. I'm just going to go down and take this to the dude who wants the water. Oh, God, hello. What are you doing in there? Are you okay? You're sort of at a weird angle. What's going on? Open window? Sure. Uh. Why? The hell? What was that about? Can I look? Well, we can sort of see in there, but can't really see much. Can't even go in. What the heck? You know what? I'm out. I'm just going to go. You know, I don't want anything to do with you. You freak. All right. I still hear that upstairs. I can't seem to do anything with this water bottle. He's not interacting here. I don't like that noise. It's creepy. Whatever it is. Alright, which was the door over the window even? It was this one over here. Oh no, it wasn't this one over here. Was it the next one? No, wait. Which one have I missed? I can wander right past it, haven't I? Or did they close it again? Alright, I've wandered right past it, apparently. Didn't even realise. Okay, what are we doing then? Do we just go back to our truck? Is that what we do? I kind of am hoping that that's the answer here. Or maybe we just throw this bottle away. I don't know. Maybe put it in the trash. Okay, I'm out. You know what? I'm fine. I've had enough for one night of being an Amazon delivery driver. I think that's enough spookums. Let's just drive on out of here. Go and pick up our next delivery and hope that it's not for this place. This strange location. God. Freaking... Something's going to jump scare me again, I'm telling you now. Can I not? No. So this... So Kohei must be... The person who everyone hates, right? I'm guessing. Judging by, you know, otherwise that letter would just seem really random. Like it doesn't fit. Alright, where are we going here? Oh, I can't even... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, Hello. A mystery package. Okay. See? Yeah. Thought there'd be something down here. Not that I said that. 404. Okay. We're going up to the spooky floor, I guess. To the floor with the dude. Okay. Take me up to five. It's just constant friggin' packages, isn't it? What's that noise? Is that just the wind? I hope so. A very small package, this one. Admittedly. Let me out, let me out, let me out. I don't like the fact that that elevator is so small and claustrophobic. Alright, 404. It's like right along here. Uh, that's 403. That's definitely shut now. Alright, 404. Uh, doorbell. Good meal. I've got a package for you. Oh, great. Oh, it's fucking Silent Hill radio static now. Oh my 
god. Oh, this doesn't look good, does it? Why is this the way it is? Welfare document. I mean, can't really read that. It's all in Japanese. Got your little dinner tray there. Boxes. Kohei, is this your apartment? Well, at least I can't open that. That one does open, though. What the heck? A fridge? What's going on there? It's got your fridge in the middle of the living room? Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Don't like. Shut that door. Nothing in the bathroom? No. Oh, fine. I'm going to... Oh, great. Oh, crap. Where are we? Fuck. Gee. Fuck. That. I'm getting so sort of swung around. I don't know what's going on. Alright, what's with the fridge? Just in the middle of the room. Oh, God. We're going to open it. It's going to be like a body or something in there, isn't there? Oh, there. No. Okay. Show me whatever the hell's in here. Why? 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 Oh, the door's shut. Ooh! Wow, you are missing a head. Someone got murdered? Ugh. Why? Wait, were there bags there before? Oh my god, that's so fucking grainy, I can barely see anything. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Just chilling out on the sofa. Why not, eh? Oh my god, I, can, I cannot see. Is something I'm supposed to do here? Oh! Oh no, that was just uh, me and that. Holy fuck. I hope I'm not supposed to do something here, otherwise this is going to be a right pain in the backside, isn't it? Finding my way around with this bloody static. Oh, never mind. I think I was probably just supposed to wander around blindly. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone. Landlord? 53? Huh? Huh? What? Well, it's a cutscene, I guess. There's a torch. It clearly wants me to pick the bloody torch up, doesn't it? Alright. Okay. Tenant's payment list. 40,000 yen, 70,000? Hmm. Curious. I got my packet, packet of chips. Alright. I'll take that with me. Oh, the landlord. I guess it's just his little office, isn't it? Maybe. There's doors there. There's a little wash kitchen set up here. Can we go into either of those? That's fine. I guess... I'm doing something. What, though? It got very fucking dark out here all of a sudden. Also, it's not got the... I just realised it's not got the like VHS effect anymore. What's that about? Strange. Huh. Or you. Oh, I think it probably wants me to go upstairs, doesn't it? That's probably what it wants me to do. It wants me to head up. Find out what the deal is. God, it looks so weird though when you take off the uh, friggin' VHS effect. It then just looks like really sort of drab and dreary and spooky. For five. Let's go ride up and see about that spooky room again. What the deal is with it. Just checking my cup in case there's any more tea left to drink. But there isn't. Hello. Yeah. It's dark and spookums out here. Hey you. You there. In... Apartment 506. What are you hiding? You've got your door cranked open again. What's that about? Oi, I'm the landlord. We saw a face that time. What's your fucking deal? Let me in, you bitch. Alright, fine. I'm your fucking landlord. You owe me friggin' rent. Friggin' 160,000 yen or something. For the last however many months. Alright, maybe we go and investigate. Oh, I see the garbage is now cleared. Thank God. Go over here, maybe, and see what the deal is. Can I talk to person with kid? Apparently not. Kohei. 404. Go here. Alright, well, we're going in here, then. Oh, God. Why is it all weird in here? It's very dark, isn't it? Still got that welfare document, though. Whatever that's about. Go in there. No. Go through here. 
Lee! What is happening? Um, did something kill me? I have no idea. Um, hello? Or maybe the body we found... Hello? Maybe the body we found in here was actually... Ugh. Well, it's a person. Maybe the body we found was actually the landlord's body. Maybe we've just been decapitated. Or about to be. <laughs> Dramatic end. Did we just get decapitated? Ending two! Okay, that's ending two. So how do you get ending one? Oh, what the shit? Okay, no, that's just the ending credits. Weird, okay. So, what's the deal? So I guess Kohei in apartment 404 was just a murderer and everyone could sense it while he was rejected, perhaps? I don't know. At least that's how I'm interpreting it. And when we, the landlord, went to investigate, maybe we just... That's why um, we found that body in there originally. Because, well, thank you for showing me a dog urinating by a tree. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So, um, God, that was weird. I, I, I just think that's the interpretation of the story. He murdered the landlord in the apartment and possibly might have murdered other people in the apartment block, I don't know. Because it just seems odd that, you know, there was the woman, of course, on floor three, who we went to set up a bed frame and then she just disappeared. And then there was something really weird going on in her apartment. And then, of course, there was the thing with the kid running away. And then later on, when we found the kid, after a while, it was like the colour texture on them was just like washed out, like they were almost like a ghost or something. So I'm just going to assume that's what this is about. Serial killer living in an apartment block, maybe. Or, you know, somebody who murdered a load of other people in the apartment block. That's what I'm thinking. Who knows? So maybe there is, a, well, I would say maybe, there is, a, there is of course, another ending. So I've got ending two, which I assume is like a bad ending, but maybe there is a good ending. Maybe it's like an ending if you can, um, I don't know, if you call the police or something? Who knows? Or maybe there's a way to avoid dying. I don't know. That's the question. It's a very silent credit sequence, this. There's like no noise at all. I'm so curious, they've got like dog models as well. Because we've seen cat models in this, but we've never seen dog models or anything, which is really strange. Unless they're around somewhere, but I don't know. How strange. I'll have to... Hmm, I'm trying to think what would be the thing that triggers the alternate ending in this. I don't entirely know. Because I feel like I investigated more or less everything there was to investigate, unless there was something that I completely missed. Because I know technically there's probably like some corner somewhere that I didn't investigate. Oh look, I guess those are Patreon supporters again. Gab Smolders. <laughs> her name's come up again. I guess she really likes Chiller's Art Horror Games. I should check out her, I don't know, her streams or her YouTube channel or something. If you like the game, please leave a review. I will do. Don't you worry. I will do exactly that. Well, thank you for thanking me for playing Chiller's Art. As usual, very, very interesting. How strange. Alright, I'm just going to do a jump cut. I'm just going to see if I can like, check the guides, discussions on Steam. Maybe they'll give a few clues as to what, you know, how you find the other ending. And, um, you know, depending on... Well, because the thing is, I've been recording for, what, about an hour there? So it depends on what choices you have to make. Let's have a look. Hold on. Jump cut. Okay, right, I'm back in. I just did a jump cut there. So as you can see, I'm at the start of the game once again. Right, so, yes, um, what I had to do is, I had to actually look um, at a guide on Steam, because in order to get ending one, there is, well, let me just say, it, it, it's like some PT nonsense. In order to get end, ending one, there is a very specific series of steps you need to do. Now, I would not have figured this out on my own. Um, it would have taken me freaking hours and hours and hours if I was to try and, you know, figure it out on my own, until eventually I just randomly stumble across the solution by luck. So, steps are as follows, and you have to do them specifically in this order, and you have to be really careful, because if you even slip up slightly, you can screw it up and get the, you know, get ending two. So step number one, we have to get package A, which is the one for the drunk man. 
So he, we go and deliver that, he throws his water, the first thing we then have to do is go and get the water, and then we have to find a playground. Apparently there's a playground somewhere on this map, and there's a dog in it, and you give the water to the dog. So that is step number one. Right, so let's get package A, um, take this one. And of course you have to do this in a specific order, because what you've got to remember is, at this stage of the game you can only carry one box at a time, because then it, you know, it closes up the truck, as you can see. Right, so room 206. Oh wait, 206. Yeah, 206, so we can just go up like this uh, in the elevator. Actually, do we even need to go up the elevator? We can just go up. Hang on, can we... There's a fucking can. See, there's a area somewhere around here that I've not... There it is. Because I haven't yet got the achievement for all the cans. Also, there's an achievement for knocking five times on doors instead of uh, using the intercom. Aha! There you go. There's another one there. So let me just see if I can... F well, I was about to say, let me see if I can find the playground, but it might not be worth doing that just yet. Well, this is around here somewhere, but I don't know. Let's see, does this just go back around? Ah, it just goes back around towards the truck up there, you see. It all comes around, so it's not, you know, a huge map. All right, let's go do 206. Um, get the water bottle, and then find this playground where this dog is located. So you see, that why, that's why there's a dog on the uh, ending credit sequence. <laughs> Alright, in here. Dude. Right, knock on the door. Because we might be able to get um, an achievement for if we knock five times and all that. Knock. Just keep knocking. It should be an easy one to get, this achievement. You never know, we may be able to get uh, all the achievements by the end of this, because there's six of them in total. Alright, keep knocking about three knocks have done there, and I'm pretty sure I knocked during, at least once during my original playthrough. Uh, hello? I've got a box for you, buddy. Do you want it? Room 206. Oh, there you go. Here he is. Right, he's going to throw the bottle. No doubt. There we go. Just get through his dialogue, then we'll go and find this dog. Once we've got the water bottle. You took way too long, get the hell out of my face. So he throws that, there it goes. God, I think he throws it quite hard, doesn't he? It goes quite far, if I remember correctly. Uh, can we see it anywhere down there? Ah, is that it down there on the floor? All right, hold on. So it's near the bike sheds. It's not too far from those. All right, get this water, take it to the dog. So the, the whole idea why you have to do this is, you remember the letter that we found in the dumpster that, where that cat's on? Apparently there's three of those letters, three letters from the mother, and you have to find them in a specific order. The one that's in the dumpster, that's letter two. So you have to find the letters in the right order. So we get the water bottle. We now need to locate the playground where the dog is. So we do this one first, and that gives us letter one. So where is the playground? Um, so it should be around the back of the complex somewhere. Oh, another freaking cat right there. God, <laughs> zombie man. <laughs> or cat-eyed man. There's not any other cans around here anywhere, is there? I mean, I don't hear anything. There might be one near this playground, whatever it is. Uh, is it around here? Aha! This looks like a playground, doesn't it? Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> it looks right up as I move in. He's got a little letter in his mouth. Oh. I told you, there'd be a can in here. Can I get that, please? Got that one. Super dry. Palace Athene Breweries Limited. Okay. Just look for any others, because there might well be more of them. Oh. Told you. Get that. There we go. Ah, it's a cat can. <laughs> All right. I'll get to you in a second, dog. I'm just going to have a look around. Oh. Oh, there's one. That, ah, there it is. Just got to look carefully. What are you, freaking business ninja? Good lord. Uh, God, how many cans are there in total? I don't actually know. Oh. There's one there on the freaking playground structure. All right, got that. Oh. Where's that? Do I hear that? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Black. Okay. There's another one. I didn't really think I was going to go for all the cans, but... You never know. We might just find all of them. Alright, doggo. I know you're there. How you doing? You doing alright? Anything by the roundabout? Hold on. I'm just looking around. Because probably another one somewhere. Can we get on the climbing thing? No, we can't. There's nothing around here, is there? Oh god, there might well be one sort of like down here, for instance. Hidden around the back, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, no. 
you know what, before I start wandering off and getting myself distracted, let's actually just concentrate on the dog first. Cans are just a bonus thing. Look at you, you're adorable. There you go, see? Right, letter number one. Kohei, have you got used to the new environment? You said you're doing your best to get along with everyone in the apartment. Did you get along well? I know that you're very kind. I hope other people can feel that too. Start with one person first. Also, it's okay to work slowly. You tend to think pessimistically. Try to think positive. By the way, how's the dog? Uh, Aikichi, was it? Show me the dog next time, okay? Alright, so that's letter number one. So now, we have to go back to the truck, and we have to pick up... Oh. Well, that's just blocking the way now. Okay, interesting that that's now there. Because like, certain areas maybe get blocked off as you're going along. Oh. Ah, I told you there'd be one by the roundabout. There we go. That's another one with an anime girl on it, of course. Alright. Well, let's go back. So now we need to go get package C. We have to do that one next before anything else. Um. Oh, what? That's new. Okay. Guy with his dog. I see. So that's Kohei, is it? I assume so. Alright. Um... Just listen out for any other cans. So I'm assuming if I picked up, you know, all those ones before, then they won't trigger again. Alright, let's go get package C. Okay, take this one. That's to package C. So we have to take it to the cat lady. Um, and then obviously, yeah, do the cat thing. She gives the cat food, you take it to the dumpster. And then you feed the cat. So 502. Just go right upstairs. That's all we need to do. Over here, please. Get this, and through, and five. Should be a fairly simple and straightforward one. It's the third one that's always that's going to be a bit of an option. I'll explain the step for it in a bit. Okay. Up here. Doors can't open fast enough. There we go. Right, 5.02, isn't it? Yeah, 5.02. And remember to knock. You there, lady? Hello? Nope, oh, there you are. Yeah, you're the cat lady. <laughs> you got your strange blob cat there. Alright, how's it going? Thanks, I have reward. You love cats too. Take it and be gone. Okay, I'm out. Right, so let's go and feed the cat. As you do. And then we'll um, get letter two, so we'll then pick that up. It's like I say, very specific series of steps. And you've just got to figure them out. Of course, like I say, it would have taken me absolutely ages to figure this out without the guide. So, yeah. I didn't spoil what the ending was, ladies and gentlemen. I just looked at the steps that you need to do in order to get it. But yes, uh, like a lot of people say. Right, here, give you that. Then we get letter two. Go, oh, hey, how are you doing? How's the new apartment? In the previous apartment, you had to move because the residents there weren't so kind to you. Is it okay this time? Before, there were people who made a fool of themselves about disabilities and welfare, right? I said it many times before, you weren't the bad one. Don't blame yourself. Also, don't be impatient about getting a job. Kohei, you're my son. You'll be okay. Things will get better, Mom. Right, so now we need to go and sort out package number... Right, well, basically, uh, oh no, what we need to do... Okay, so it's not, I don't think, a specific package that we have to do next. It just says, so for step three, when searching room 404, apartment 404, for the baby, before opening the closet where the baby is, you have to head out onto the balcony where there's a plant pot. So you have to kick the plant pot off the balcony, you then acquire the baby, deliver it back, then you head around the building where the plant pot fell to retrieve a key to a mailbox. You open the mailbox to then get letter three. Okay, right, I'm out to jump cut. Okay, so I've got package D. Basically, it was the final package I picked up, which is the last one I need, which is obviously the one that you take to uh, the room where the baby is, 202, right? So, but we, at least we know what room the baby um, goes into. It's 404. Spooky one, all right. So let's deliver this. The baby runs off. We go get the baby, go up to 404. 404 is always a pain to get to because of the fact that it's blocked off with garbage. But we can do it, all right. Door opens. Freaking potato baby runs off. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, I'll get him, don't you worry. Alright, let's go get him. Okay, uh, we're going to need um, to get the uh, lift up for this one. Alright, so 404, I've got to remember, you got to do the thing with the plant pot first, then you get the baby and deliver it, and then you have to go around the building in order to get the key for the mailbox. So basically what you have to do... Right, let's try and remember this. Yeah, it's just I'm having to go through, obviously, all, a lot of stuff that we've already done first. Because, obviously, you have to deliver all the other packages as well. 
Now I'm hoping that this guide is correct and that these are the only steps that I actually really need to do. Because the guide I looked at didn't say there were any other steps that were needed. It just said these ones. Okay, right. 403, you're still open for some reason. Uh, right. 403, of course, is the weird one. With the woman who uh, comes out. Wait, really? Can't go in there first? Are you kidding me? Do I have to trigger 403? Is that it? Oh, God. Huh. Wait, was it 4... Huh. Oh, yeah, it's now... With all the... No, it was 403, wasn't it, where the baby was located? Okay, here's the... Okay, so it wasn't friggin' 404, it's 403. Right, plant pot, plant pot. Is there a plant pot out here? No, there isn't a plant pot. I don't see one. Uh, no plant pot on the balcony? Or maybe not. Oh, wait, no, it's there. Good lord. Alright, so i just got to remember, back of the building. Right, kick the plant pot off. Alright, so that's fallen down out there, so it is this one. Then you get the baby from the closet. Oh. Wait, what? Do I have to trigger something else in here first? It's all weird how the pictures all change in this one. Alright, wait, well, let me close that now for some reason. Was there something else I was meant to interact with in here before I did anything else? Or was it like a picture? Was it the one in the bathtub, actually, come to think of it? It was the bathtub, wasn't it? No, that's the toilet. What am I doing? It's in here. I can get in. Maybe. Right, there we go. Right. Baby's now activated. So we go in here. There you are. I'm gonna get you. Right. Then I need to remember... Yeah, you go out. Okay. And then there's freakish banging noises of this guy again. Whatever he's doing. Do we want to open the window? I don't know if we want to, necessarily. I think we're just going to ignore him for now. Right, acquire and deliver the baby. Just do the steps as they've been laid out, that's all. Right, back down to two. Oh god, his head's going through the wall. <laughs> oh dearie me. Mm -hmm. And now this happens. That's right. The thing just freaks out. The lights go out. Weird shit. Goes down. Yep, 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 yep. So then we end up being sent to the ladder puzzle, don't we? Yeah, so the baby's now disappeared. And we have to do the whole thing with the packages. So after, obviously, we've done this one with the baby, we then have to do the bit with the mystery package. We'll come to that, though, in a second. Okay, here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. At least here you can pick up all the packages and just carry them around, though. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't necessarily need to do these in a particular order. I think you just get through it. Or, having said that, though, can you go to the back of the building? No, you can't, because obviously areas are blocked off. So you have to do this first. Okay, right, jump cut. Okay, back through. Just went through that jump scare of the guy who charges out at you while you're in the elevator. Alright, so now we can deliver the baby, and then it says go around and get the uh, key from the plant pot. Alright, you're in there. Okay, that's good. At least that's done. Alright, this should work, right? If we go around the back of the building and um, fetch that plant pot, or the thing that's just dropped, we just have to find it. It'll be a bit further down, since it was 404 and all that. Probably will show up on the ground, won't it? Aha! That's it there. Alright, mailbox key, 404. There we go. Right, so we got that. So this should give us letter 3. And then after that, we just have to continue on playing until we get to the bit where you take the mysterious package. Um, right, 404. There we go. Open that bad boy. Letter number three. Kohei, are you okay? I haven't heard from you recently, so I wrote a letter again. Uh, that's actually really hard to read. Hold on, let me just try and get a better angle on it. Bloody hell, that's really difficult. Okay, that's better. Uh, you... Tend, that should say you tend, not attend. You tend to get depressed since you're a kid, easily. What? Oh, yeah, that means you tend to get depressed since, you know, your childhood days, quite easily. Don't care too much about your disability, I'm worried, Kohei. Sometimes the depression accumulates and explodes. Kohei, you're kinder than anyone I know, and remember that I'm proud of you. Call me any time if anything happens. Dad and I'll always be on your side. Work? You don't have to force yourself to work, you know. By the way, Grandma wants to see your face. Come back home sometimes, okay? Ooh. So that actually potentially puts a different slant on the story. Hmm. Was Kohei the one who murdered someone, or was he just depressed and did someone murder him? That's the question, isn't it? 
Oh, so now we go back to the truck and we have to get the mystery package. So let's go do that. And then, of course, now the trick with this one, the old mystery package, is that when you take it to the room, which is 404, I think, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, room 404 package. So obviously you go in there, there's the fridge in the room with the tatami mats. So you go there, you have to click on the fridge when you go in, but then you have to just book it out of that room as fast as you can, because otherwise you get locked in. And if you can book it out of the room, that should be the final step in order to trigger ending number one. So let's see if we can do that, ladies and gents. I've no idea, but uh, <laughs> I swear to God, if I screw this up right at the end, I'll be so pissed. If I screw it up, then screw it. You know what? If you want to check out the ending one for yourself, then go and buy the game. But in the meantime, we're not going to... Uh, if I do fail, then I'm not going to be friggin' doing it again. Because obviously it takes a... You know, it's just a bit of a palaver getting to this point. Right, 404. Open the door, please. Should open at some point, right? Just keep knocking, I guess. Until eventually something happens. Intercom. Okay, at some point it's going to open. Ah, here we go, right. There's the sound. So I don't know if it starts timing the moment you get in there. That's the problem. Okay, ready? Just book it in there. Go in there. Activate that. Right, let's get the fuck out. Oh, shit. Okay, everyone's here. Staring in, I guess. Well, there's a creepy woman. Ah, you see? So yeah, it does eventually shut on you. But you do have a good window of opportunity to get out. And there's the kid and the mother. The kid's T-posing for some reason. Okay. Um, well, it seems I still have the package, which is kind of weird. Oh. I heard something happen in there. We can sort of see in, which is the spooky thing. All right, now it's going to film grain. Can we, can we see... Oh. Wait, wait. Ending one? I think we got it right. Okay, so it's actually quite forgiving, that. You do have a good window of opportunity to just get out. The delivery man decided to leave the place. He knew what had happened at Nakayoshi apartment. Okay, it's the usual sort of chill as art exposition dump right at the end. I went to the local police. He told what... Okay, it's sort of flicking between different persons. He told what happened to the police in detail. What the police saw there was that brutal corpse. I guess it'll explain what's going on here. Police had decided early on that he had committed suicide. The landlord was taken and questioned by the police. Hmm. But it was a decapitated body, so... Can't have been it. Nakoshi apartment, which lost the residents and landlord who protect the house, changed its appearance and name. I'm still waiting for people to come. Hmm. How weird. So, unless the decapitated corpse was just metaphorical... Well, there we go, ending one! Okay. So, I guess that explains it. Kohei just commits suicide, and that's that. That's the end of it. I guess that's the story. So it is a bit about kind of mental health, this one. Um, similarly to things like Okairi, for instance. Okay, well, there you go. So technically, we've not quite played it to full completion, because I haven't got the can achievement. But hey, you know what? You saw both endings. That's what you're here for, ladies and gentlemen. And that was a decent little playthrough, that, ladies and gents. So, hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, um, like I said, I still have a couple more Chillers Art Horror games that I need to play at some point. But I don't know if I'm going to be playing them right away after this one, or if I might save them for a little bit later. Because um, there are other horror games that I want to get through as well. And so I'm thinking probably what I'll do is uh, I'll play some of them next. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. So, yeah, um, you know, stick around for those. I was just thinking there was something else I wanted to say as well, and I've just forgotten what it was. Um, what was it? What did I have in mind that I wanted to say? Oh yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, I said it early on, actually, but obviously this will be um, over an hour in playtime, It'll probably be somewhere close to about an hour and a half, maybe, there or thereabouts. So I'll probably split this once again, you know, into a couple of episodes, maybe, you know, if I've got the timing right, maybe episodes of about 40 to 45 minutes each, roughly. So, yeah, I think that'll probably do, won't it, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. Supporter appearances. All right, I'll just jump cut here. Smoogenwagen. 
Well, there we go. Just jump cut and all that. Right, uh, in that case, we'll wrap up here. So Facebook and Twitter links down below for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated, of course. You know, do go and check out Chill's Art Horror Games for yourself. Chill's Art has a lot of games. I'm not going to play all of their games, but there are definitely ones that stand out, which I do want to play. And I, you know, will be playing, hopefully, uh, sometime over the course of 2023. So, I uh, hope you all stick around and obviously join me for those when eventually they come out. In the meantime, of course, if you did enjoy, leave a like and all that. I think I just said that, actually, did I? I may have just done. All right, goodbye, everyone. Everybody. Door is locked. Okay, never mind. Oh, I'm just worried about enemy soldiers showing up. Oh, we don't want to go. Whoa, okay. He just got fucking blown up. Good God. We'll go. All right, now your friends. You're just going crazy. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to say anything. Oh Lord. I need machine gun rounds or something. What's that there? More rifle ammo. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, where am I going? Oh shit. Jesus. Uh oh. Good. Right, cycle bullets. Jesus Christ. Oh god. Nope. 